The reason why I left Angie house is because I mean it's very very sad. You know, I feel like I'm I'm an unwanted guest. Like I I wasn't treated like I'm a husband. You know, like I I, I was treated like I'm just a nobody. That's just how I'll put it, you know. I Did you kill my f***ing daughters? All women are stupid. So what do you expect me to do? Yes. You better get your ass and get your ass. You want to get your ass and get your ass and get your ass and get your ass and get your ass So I tend to, you know, keep it cool. To be honest, I was, I was scared. You know, sometimes when she's very upset, you know, mm. she made me feel scared. No, I don't give a goddamn about no money. Calm down. You and your goddamn money. Will you calm down? The guys, listen, don't hate me. Don't get in my. Do not. Hey guys, this is Michael. I just want to quickly make this video to from the public that I'm not in any social media platform right now. Welcome back. For years, viewers of 90 Day Fiancé have witnessed the tumultuous relationship between Michael Ilisanmi and Angela Deem unfold on screen. What started as a whirlwind romance quickly devolved into a chaotic and, at times, disturbing dynamic, leaving fans divided over who was in the right. Recently, Michael has opened up about the deep emotional and psychological suffering he endured during their marriage, shedding light on aspects of their relationship that were never fully captured by the cameras. Michael recalls the early days of his relationship with Angela as being filled with promise. Despite the significant age gap and cultural differences, Michael was drawn to Angela's fiery personality and strong will. He admired her independence and her ability to stand her ground. However, as time passed, these same qualities that once attracted him became the source of his anguish. From the outset, Angela's approach to their relationship was marked by a domineering attitude. While Michael initially perceived her strong opinions and assertiveness as signs of a woman who knew what she wanted, it soon became apparent that her need for control extended into every aspect of their lives. Michael began to feel stifled, as Angela's demands and expectations grew increasingly unrealistic and oppressive. One of the most harrowing aspects of Michael's marriage to Angela was her tight-fisted control over their finances. Michael describes Angela as being stingy, to an extreme degree, often withholding money from him and refusing to provide for even his basic needs. This financial control was not just about money, it was a means of exerting power over him, a way for Angela to remind Michael who held the reins in their relationship. Michael remembers nights when he went to bed hungry because Angela refused to give him money for food. Despite living under the same roof, Angela made it clear that her resources were hers alone and she would decide when and how they were used. Michael's dignity was repeatedly eroded as he found himself having to beg for basic necessities. The man who had once been confident and proud now felt reduced to the status of a beggar in his own home. As their marriage deteriorated, Michael and Angela began to lead increasingly separate lives, despite living together. Angela would often banish Michael to a separate room, forcing him to sleep alone while she enjoyed the comfort of their shared bed. This physical separation was emblematic of the emotional distance that had grown between them. Michael yearned for the closeness and intimacy that had once defined their relationship, but Angela's actions made it clear that she had no interest in maintaining these aspects of their marriage. Angela's refusal to allow Michael into her personal space was a constant reminder of her power over him. Michael recalls the cold, lonely nights when he lay awake, wondering why his own wife would treat him with such cruelty. The woman he had once loved now seemed like a stranger, someone who was intent on keeping him at arm's length both physically and emotionally. This rejection took a severe toll on Michael's self-esteem and sense of self-worth. One of the most painful aspects of Michael's marriage to Angela was the way she would belittle and insult him in front of others. Whether they were in the company of friends, family, or even strangers, Angela had no qualms about tearing Michael down with harsh words and demeaning comments. She would criticize his appearance, mock his aspirations, and question his abilities as a man. Michael remembers feeling humiliated on countless occasions, his dignity stripped away with every insult. 
Angela's behavior was not just a private matter. She made it clear that she had no respect for him, and she wanted the world to know it. Michael felt like a nobody, a mere shadow of the man he had once been. The public nature of Angela's abuse only compounded his sense of shame and helplessness. There were nights when Michael would cry himself to sleep, overwhelmed by the weight of his suffering. He wondered how the woman he had married, the woman he had once loved so deeply, could treat him with such disdain. The tears were a release for the pain that had built up inside him, but they were also a testament to the profound sense of loss he felt. The dreams he had once had for a happy marriage, for a loving partnership, had been shattered beyond repair. Michael's tears were not just a response to Angela's actions, they were an expression of his inner turmoil, his confusion, and his despair. He had entered the marriage with hope and optimism, believing that love could conquer all obstacles. But now, he found himself trapped in a nightmare, a relationship that had become a source of constant pain and suffering. Throughout their marriage, Michael never felt like a true husband to Angela. Instead, he felt more like a servant, a houseboy, who was there to do her bidding and fulfill her demands. Angela made it clear that she was the one in control, and Michael's role was to comply with her wishes, no matter how unreasonable or demeaning they were. Michael's sense of powerlessness was exacerbated by Angela's constant threats and ultimatums. She would often remind him that she held all the cards, that she could end the marriage at any time, and that he would be left with nothing. This fear of losing everything kept Michael in a state of constant anxiety, always walking on eggshells, always trying to appease Angela in the hopes of avoiding her wrath. The psychological impact of Angela's behavior on Michael cannot be overstated. He describes feeling trapped in a cycle of emotional abuse, where every aspect of his life was controlled by Angela's whims. The constant belittlement, the financial manipulation, the physical and emotional distance, all of these factors contributed to a profound sense of isolation and despair. Michael began to question his own worth, wondering if he truly deserved the treatment he was receiving. He struggled with feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt, as Angela's words and actions chipped away at his confidence and self-esteem. The man who had once been full of life and ambition now felt like a shell of his former self, a mere puppet in a relationship that had become toxic and destructive. Despite the overwhelming challenges he faced, Michael eventually reached a breaking point. He realized that he could no longer continue living in a relationship that was destroying him from the inside out. The decision to speak out about his experiences was not an easy one, but it was a necessary step in reclaiming his life and his sense of self. Michael's journey to break free from Angela's control was fraught with difficulty. He had to confront his own fears and insecurities, as well as the societal and cultural pressures that had kept him bound to the marriage for so long. But with time, he began to find the strength to stand up for himself, to assert his own needs and desires, and to reclaim his identity as a man and a husband. Michael's path to healing is ongoing, but he is determined to move forward with his life. He has found solace in sharing his story, in the hope that others who are going through similar situations might find the courage to speak out and seek help. The scars of his marriage to Angela will take time to heal, but Michael is committed to rebuilding his life, one step at a time. In reflecting on his experiences, Michael emphasizes the importance of self-worth and self-respect. He has come to understand that no one deserves to be treated with cruelty or disrespect, regardless of the circumstances. His journey has taught him the value of standing up for oneself, of recognizing when a relationship has become toxic, and of having the courage to walk away when necessary. Michael's story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of power imbalances in relationships. His marriage to Angela was marked by control, manipulation, and emotional abuse, factors that can have devastating effects on one's mental and emotional well-being. But Michael's decision to speak out is a reminder that it is possible to break free from such toxic dynamics and to reclaim one's sense of self. As Michael continues on his journey of healing and self-discovery, he hopes that his story will inspire others to take a stand against abuse, to recognize their own worth, and to seek out relationships that are based on mutual respect, love, and support. His story is one of pain and suffering, but also of resilience and hope, a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the power of self-determination. Thank you for watching.